Hello, so today is May the 12th and I'm gonna make my tea. Gonna do me a twist out and I'm finna talk. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my stove on high. Yeah, most people gonna be like, uh, you probably shouldn't do that. Uh, yeah, 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 whatever. Anyway, um, y'all, I'm so mad. I paid, I think, $25 for this, but it cracked. But I just uh put some water in it and nothing came out. So I'm gonna use it one more time before I, um, you know, part my ways with her because she has been so good to me. And I want to use the same jar for my tea. Yeah, I'm going to use the same jar for my tea. So here is my strainer. I got it off Amazon. Don't have the link for it. Probably could find the link for it, but I probably won't. I know that sucks. Anyway, um, I <laughs> I reuse my mason jars because at one point, as you can see, this has sea moss in it. So this is the vanishing cravings. This is the sunshine skin glow. This is digestive relief and this is blood purifier as you can see blood purifier is almost gone and i have it in this jar so y'all are gonna see how i actually y'all are gonna see what i do like this is the jar it came in and like these are kind of vacuum sealed i can't say that because they're vacuum sealed but they're they're really tight and like the herbs are stuffed in here so when you open it, be careful because you'll drop them. <gasps> this is actually going better than I thought it would though. Like I really thought it'd be worse than this. So. Worked out pretty well. As you can see, this little jar fits in this jar. And I think this is a 16 ounce jar because these are 32. So, yeah, that's probably 16 ounces. Oh, and I'm getting all my herbs. So, because you only steep teas once, um, or I only steep teas once, I stay in an apartment complex. And if I still stay with my mom, I would actually plant my herbs like outside because that way, you know, whatever herb or everything will come back in my mama yard and I can kind of use it instead of out here when they get lawn maintenance every Monday, Tuesday and chemicals and stuff and stuff you spray. <sighs> So I, first I had dirt and was soil and I had a pot and I was like, I'm gonna I'm a plant them. And then I was like, what do you really know about planting? Cause I got some plants cause I want to be a plant mom. And I got plants that don't need watering and I think they're doing okay. I think they are. Yeah. So I have, froze them like all of these are the herbs from last week yeah and i don't tie them well not tie them but no i don't screw it all the way on because it'll freeze and now i'm doing them in this one so the herbs from today will go in here i'm putting this one back up so i am going to make a oil because the herbs are still strong but it's recommended not to steep more than once. So I still want to use them. I still want to get a, you know, I can't say my money's worth, but I still want to get all of the benefits and the properties out of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an oil and I have some raw shea butter in my bathroom. So when I create that oil, I'm going to mix that oil with my shea butter 
to make it a cream. So it'd be like a lotion. And then some days I have the oil. So some days I actually will oil myself and some days I lotion. Well, hmm, if I do the lotion, that can be my night routine and the oil can be my day. Or the oil be my night and the shea butter be my day. Hmm. That's smart. Good job. Okay. So that's what's going on. Um, you're actually only supposed to do a tablespoon, which is this. Um, because I am on a certain type of journey and because of what I know I need from my journey, when it comes to this one, which is a blood purifier, I do one of these, which is a tablespoon instead of a teaspoon. So I do that with blood purifier. Um, Spanish cravings, I really, I don't know. I really don't crave anything. So this is my regular one. And technically you can mix up the five teas. So me doing that much of the blood purifier isn't bad, but I should do eight more ounces of water so that it won't be so potent it. But I don't get headaches. I don't break out. It doesn't bother me. So I just, I don't know, I ride with it. This is the Sunshine Skin Glow. I'm really trying to get rid of this sty. This is, it's not me. Oh, and I don't know if y'all can see that I'm doing it or I don't know if y'all can tell, but you're supposed to shake them because sometimes herbs settle at the bottom. So, and this is the digestive relief. So right, honestly, if you follow Crystal, um, the alkaline doula i'm doing her teas so if you follow her then you already know the teas that i just named are the gentle detox and sunshine sun, <laughs> the sunshine skin glow so those are the teas i just named and i started the teas three weeks ago so i'm showing you how i basically steep them you steep them for 15 minutes hopefully the video doesn't be super long because well it probably will because my plan was to do a twist out steep my tea yeah the video probably gonna be long oh well get a lot of it if you don't want to watch the whole video you know skip through it get get what you need from it and then leave what you don't so my herbs are going in here these are it's two days worth in here already so yes, well last night and the day before. This is water, aloe vera, rose water. Yeah, cause I, ain't, I didn't put oil in here, but I would know if I put oil in here. Cause you know oil and water don't mix. So my tea is heating up. What I really wanted to talk about when it came to business was it's basically me speaking to myself because I started talking to myself in the shower. Don't judge me. But I feel like I need this on video so I can remember everything I said. So I posted on Facebook two weeks ago, maybe three at most. Or last week. I don't, I don't know. If it didn't happen today, similar. But, um, you scare me a little bit but anyway i um i posted that i was going to get back into hair and i was going to start making my own products so because i am on the journey that i've been on for so long i've always been in the herbs and now i'm actually taking it serious when it comes to me um Studying them, looking at the properties of them, making products, um, actually. And I want the best, little best, like when I use my oils or sea moss or herbs, I want the best. So my oils will be cold pressed. Um, 
and I'm actually gonna make my products. I don't know, like some of them will be infused, which means I let it sit two weeks to a month. Like the herbs are gonna sit in the oil for two weeks to a month. And some of them will be the double boiler method, which is basically you put everything in a mason jar, stir it up to the consistency or to the look that you want it to look like, because oil and herbs are, they don't have a like consistency. It'll be more so for the butters and stuff. But you take this and basically you'll put this in boiling water or a crock pot, depending on what you're going to do and how you're going to do it and if you're actually going to watch it. Or you can use the double broiler when you just use the oil. Like you, you don't use the mason jar at all. It's literally the double broiler. If you use the oil, let it melt, mix the herbs, stir it up, let it sit, you know, let it do everything it needs to do. So, I, I'm looking at it on the business side of it because I'm finna show y'all why I'm making this product. And me making an oil is deeper than hey she just want to make quick money or she just she's not in this like she just did this because she saw profit in it oh excuse me i started making concoctions in 10th grade <laughs> like i had my own um like when i do my retwist and stuff like when i go to the woman who do my retwist and she dope like her her lots of her ass but when i go and i bring my own products I bring my own concoctions. I've been making stuff since I was in 10th grade. Anybody who knows me knows this. Like, I've met people and had job interviews. And it was one lady. I still love her. I did her hair two weeks ago. I did her some soft locks. But um, I have been making products for a long time. So this is nothing new to me at all. Okay, so my water is boiling. But you don't let it boil for too long. And I really think it's been boiling long enough because you really don't, yeah, let it boil for like a minute or two, but you really don't need like all of that because it's just like fruit. It's just like anything else you cook. Some stuff you don't keep the nutrients once it's heated up. So we're moving this over here. cover it like right now but I didn't have one of these out just yet okay so it is 631 we gonna let that steep anyway so the business side of it a lot of people go into business and they just want it to be a side hustle I don't want anything I do to be a side hustle. I would like for this to be my main source of income and I'm I'm investing in it. I'm putting my time in it. I'm doing this as if like this is my only income. Like I would like for this to pay for my house, pay for my car, pay for my kids. Any like anything that I do in life, I would like for my business to cover that. So, I'm not looking at it like, "Oh, well, this is an extra $500 a month." No, this is this is what I do. This is me. Like that's that's what I want for myself. I want my job to be my side hustle. Like, oh, my paycheck is my extra blah 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 money. Yeah. That's that's how serious I'm taking this. That's how serious I know this is. That's that's this is what I know it is. So, when I do start making my products, oh, I'm supposed to show you why I'm making them. Okay. As you can see, this is my hair. This is 2 years of locks. Like if you see my Facebook page, see Instagram, see whatever social media site I am on. Three years ago, I had a haircut still. Well, February, three years ago, I still had a haircut because end of February, March was when I decided, hey, I'm gonna let my hair grow back for real. No more haircuts, no more, you know, no more fades, no more going to the barbershop. And I damaged my cuticles when it comes to my hairline. And what I want to get out of this oil is me regrowing my hair, me giving back to myself because I'm 23, I'm too young not to have no edges. Too young, too young. Like, as y'all can see, 
my hair grows really really good but my edges uh, can you see it no uh, oh this sucks my lighting is usually good but this one is actually worse than that side huh. okay that's better like you see my edges like so this is how serious i am about it if i can grow my hairline back there is hope for any and everybody because i have not had edges for a long time at least sixth seventh grade like they've been on thin ice for a long time then when i got to high school before i started making wigs and i've been doing my hair since middle school but before I started making wigs and when I got into weave and all of that, I was wearing quick weaves. And it wasn't professionally done quick weaves like when you do the glue protectant. And, no, it wasn't none of that. It was literally like, hey, track, track, track. And I will do tracks all the way up here. So this is what really helped damage this. This is, if you want to be technical, this is probably traction alopecia. And traction alopecia isn't hereditary. This is what you do to yourself. Regular alopecia is. Like, this right here is what you do to yourself. So, then if there's any hope and if, there, if this can be reversed. So, my first oil would be a stimulating oil because that's what I need. <laughs> like, as you can see, my hair will grow. Like, it'll grow my new growth in itself like all of this all of this is new growth my hair will grow edges hmm. so we're gonna get those things on the same page speaking that into existence like it's going to happen but i also want people to realize like the way your hair grow and the lack thereof is also based on genetics but there are things that you can do along the way that can help hurt or harm you <laughs> and i kind of did that so i'm gonna make a product several products but my first one will be something to stimulate my scalp which means it'll probably have a pepper or something in there that it's supposed okay i'm just gonna be honest it's gonna have a pepper in it <laughs> and you can google um several actual hair growth oils or things to stimulate scalp that actually have peppers in it so this isn't my idea this isn't new this isn't like oh boom she had a light bulb nah because i actually use cayenne pepper ninth grade when i try to get my edges to grow back but i use the peppers my mama had in her uh in her spice cabinet and if you know anything about anything when you buy anything from um a bigger company that is blue and yellow and has stores everywhere um a lot of this stuff isn't 100 percent what it is on the label so when you buy cayenne pepper out of a store or a grocery store you're getting that mixed with other peppers or other ingredients you're not getting the pure raw authentic version of that with a certain amount of degrees to it which is why it probably didn't work had the right idea not the right product so that's going to be my first oil. I eventually see myself having shampoos, conditioners, um, things that aren't heavy because I have locks. Like, I have locks. So, I'm making my products with locks in mind. I'm not going to exclude people with locks because, yes, we have product lines now or we have stuff based for us because locks have became popular. This is my fourth set of locks. But, um... I want to make products for us because people forget that, you know, just because I can't use that many products on my hair because I can't comb them out. Like if I wash my hair, like let's say I put, I don't know, jam or, you know, the girls who do the edges and stuff. If you do that every day, you're creating a buildup if you don't get that off every day. And to get it off every day, you probably will have to use something like a alcohol or something like that. And alcohol is basically gonna dry your hair out so 
when you do something like this and don't get it out on a daily basis, it would create buildup. We can get lint in our hair. We Like, nothing comes out because we can't comb it through. Like, you know, with normal hair, you oil it, you grease it, you know. Even if you don't comb it right then, you'll eventually comb your hair. You'll eventually brush it. So you'll brush the oil, you know, throughout the shaft of the hair. That way it gets to the end. But I have, like, loose ends. I have curls on my ends. So when I wash my hair or wet it or dampen it or whatever I'm doing, whether it's this or or oil, I just rub it on my hands and then, you know, I work it through my ends because just like when I was a loose natural, my ends need to be moisturized. Like I still have loose ends in a sense, even though I have locks. I can't comb my hair, not gonna comb my hair. We can brush it, but I don't think I'm gonna brush my locks. I know some people who do and they do that because it helps distribute the oil and stops frizz and all of that but no I just, I just don't see myself doing it i just feel like that's too much anyway so i see myself owning different product lines and having different product lines for different issues that we may have whether you have color locks like i have color ends so whether you have color locks virgin locks which means it's hair that has never like you've never bleached it you've never lifted it you've never put color on it like literally your hair is like my roots and probably probably about here because i like the color was my ends so probably about here would be virgin if i cut them off so i want to make products for people with locks and if i make products with people with locks it'll work for people without them because if it works on locks which is probably the hardest thing for a hair product to work on and not have the build up or not be heavy. It'll definitely work for regular loose natural hair. It'll work for permed hair. It'll work for everybody's hair. So that's why my products are gonna be based in with the thought of locks. So shampoos, conditioners, deep conditioners, hot oil treatments and people don't realize like if you have a oil you can do a hot oil treatment with that oil so the hot oil treatment would just be the regular oil i would just explain things differently like i just different regimens or however somebody's gonna do it like i get my recommendations and with any product i make i would like for people to do a skin test because some of us don't know what we react to. We we don't know what's in them products that's on the shelf at that's that blue store with the yellow writing or white writing, depending on if they've updated it or not. We don't know what's in all them products. So they have disclaimers also. But my main disclaimer would be do a um do a skin test. What you should do right here in the well, not that one, that's tattooed. But right here and Watch it for 12 to 24 hours before you use any product. Not just the products I'll be making, but you're really supposed to do it before you bleach your hair. To see if you're going to react to the bleach. Oh, yeah, I went to school for cosmetology, you know. But, you know, <clears throat> anyway. So, just be mindful of that. The pro I ain't even do my twist out. I'll probably do that off camera. But I'm going to tell y'all how I do it. I wet my hair thoroughly, like drenched probably need a towel really don't use a towel on your hair either i use t-shirts but you know just for talking purposes something that will keep my neck dry and then i'm going to put four of my locks in most of my locks will have four it's two locks that i have three because of the lock count i think i got 145 locks or 144 so it's one of those but um yeah, so I put four of them in most of them. And, oh, and it'd be a bomb, like, twist out. Get back on topic. This would be my sole source of income. Because the life that I have planned for myself, the life that I have in my hand, the life that I want, the life that I deserve, I am not punching a clock for anyone else but myself. The life I have, 
I'm able to raise my kids. They're not going to go. If they choose to, eventually, they can go to school. But with the way this system is set up, I would rather my kids learn from me. Um, I know it may not be the easiest thing in the world, but who said life was meant to be easy? I would rather teach my kids, homeschool them, you know, invest in them on certain things instead of forcing them to do this and forcing them to... No, not doing all that. Anyway, I would like to breastfeed for that first year, like hard. Hard. Can't do that doing the job I do. My pregnancy, like, I would kind of work through it, but I really don't want to. Like, if I was to get pregnant in the next year, I would work through it because kind of have to. But anything after that, I'm setting myself up to where I don't. I would like a consignment shop or a thrift store. Like, I just feel like you, you'll get the energy. You'll get the vibe. Like, that's that's a business I can still run and still have my life and still. Like, if I had a consignment shop, people can still walk in there. You can see me breastfeeding my baby, and it's not going to be like, oh, what is she doing? You're not going to think less of me. You're not going to, oh, well, I'll wait till you. No, you're good. What's up? What you need? You need help with anything? Like, what? <laughs> so that is what I want for myself, right? Okay, so I have one minute left before I have to um take my tea out. But that is what I want for myself. That's what I deserve. That's what I'm going to make happen. So today I make a promise to myself to study my ass off to only find the best of the best to figure out what works with what what doesn't work with what what can be mixed with this what can be mixed with that if i mix these two what's what's you know what's the reaction of that like this this is a brand built off love this is a brand built off authenticity this is a brand built off my work meaning if it fall i can rebuild it again this this ain't no private label oh well i'm just gonna stick somebody else label on the product and but just put my logo on it nah this me oh i didn't mention my raps like i'm starting to slowly put videos on youtube but i got i got screenshots for proof baby <laughs> I've been wearing rap since 10th grade also like that that 10th grade was the year i did it all like i cut my hair off like i went from a perm I was like, F weave, kind of, because my mama got my hair done the first day of school because she just thought I was going to get picked on because of my haircut. So, but anyway, and I went along with it. Like, I could have said no. But, um, 10th yeah. grade was my transition for real. It was like, okay, girl, it's time for you to be who you're supposed to be. And, like, somehow I got away from that. Like, yes, this is still hard. Ew. Okay, and you probably want to know what color the tea is. Uh, or how dark it is. Let's see. Can you see it? Yeah. So, sometimes they be dark, sometimes they don't. I guess it just depends on how much of what herb I got in when I when I did it or whatever. So sometimes they still still leaking out. This is what I'm gonna do now. Like you see, this is my 64 ounce mason jar. And ouch. That's hard. So I do this just so I can get um just so I can get all my herbs in here. Oh I got more stuff in. Depending on what I feel like grabbing. Sometimes I do a knife, sometimes I do a spoon. But I get the herbs that are a little more stubborn or stuck the stuff. Out of there. 
So, so you know, and I give it a little shake till they get flat. That way, you know, when I add the ones for tomorrow, they'll just go straight on top of them because they're gonna freeze however I drop them in here. Which is why the other jar look as crazy as it do because I didn't do this. So, teas are one thing I definitely um want to get into. I might scratch that. Because I'm going to do my teas every day because I'm trying to heal something within myself. I'm trying to detox. I'm trying to like, you know, we're going to take trying out. I'm getting my life in order. I'm detoxing something. I'm getting it out of my system. Which is why I go so big on the blood purifier part. Because cleaning your blood and getting the oxygen to flow through your body like it's supposed to. Because, y'all, I found out that um, thin hairlines or thin edges... Even though it can result from traction alopecia, it can also be a result of a lack of iron in the body. And most of us are mineral deficient anyway, whether we realize it or not. But that's why pregnant women crave dirt, cornstarch. Um, well, that's why they have cravings, period. That's why we crave stuff. Because we're, we're deficient in whatever mineral produces that. So, when it comes to me and my business, me and my research, me and this life that I know I deserve, oh, it's going to happen. It's already written. I just got to get in alignment with how and where I'm supposed to be at. That's all I got to do. I have been, um, in, in so many words, stopping, halting, slowing down. Um, hindering, that's the word. Hindering my journey. Me. It's already written. But I just took different ways to get to it. So, yes, oils. Yes. And then, I do not want my products to be expensive. But I do know this is something that I need. It's to help, but I also, I got to eat. Kids got to eat. I ain't got no kids right now. Just thinking about them. Doing this for them and me. But got to eat, got to provide, got to get the things that I want. I got to live. So I don't want my products to be expensive, but I do not want them. I don't want to lose money or be in the red when it comes to them either. So my first step, like, like I said in the beginning of the video, this video is really for me, but I'm going to share it with y'all. That makes sense. What I need to really write down and remember and take into consideration is the prices that I'm paying for my products and then give that room to grow because sometimes you may buy this at this volume or this price or you may buy it like this right now, but if they go up, you go up. You have no choice. So think about how much you're spending on jars or containers or because I really want my oils to be to be probably in about a four, six, or eight ounce glass with a dropper. Because I feel like a dropper would just work better. Especially, like, with locks, like, if I can just find some parts or whatever, or I just boom, boom, you know, it'll work for me. And I just feel like if it'll work for me, it'll work for like that. You know, it'll work like that with someone else. So, I would rather them be in glass with droppers for one so and like if i do creams like glass containers because um i want something that somebody can stick their hand into and like me i'm gonna use all my product what if what i pay for i'm i'm scraping all of that so i need something that you know fingers and hands can kind of fit in so jars when it comes to like the shea butter mixtures and all of that shampoos i would rather like a, a squeeze top or you know like that but i know for shipping purposes like this is this is Dramex. i used to have this in my truck so shipping purposes unless it's like you know the way they twist like this 
where it ain't gonna come out then it can get shipped like this but if it if it's twist this way you know it, it'll just waste and i feel like that'll be a little difficult to ship something like that because usually when it has this it already has that and it's kind of open like if you were to you know and when you do the tops you can line it with the plastic and just put a regular top on it and then the dropper fits it still you know what i'm saying so i gotta figure that out that's one thing that'll be my trial and everything figuring out what i would like to use for my shampoo and conditioner bottles but to start out i'm going hard on my oil like going hard and i'm going to make my own concoction for myself these are things i'm going to try on myself before i even put them out because i believe in integrity when it comes to anything i'm not going to sell you something i'm not going to use like i may even record how i make it right and if it don't work for me like i want it to if it don't work i ain't posting that but if it do <laughs> I have proof on how I started it. I have proof on my products. I, now, I, if I give y'all my products, I'm not giving y'all my measurements. And if I give you my measurements, I'm not giving you my products. So, one or the other. But, um, I probably like give, like give some of the ingredients. Like the main ones I think people would like react to and stuff. The other ones would just be general. But, um, and like my own mist and things like or a lock wash or a herbal tea like for your hair something you can use every day it's light especially during the summer days like this is something that can keep your hair moisturized and you don't have to have a heavy oil or a heavy cream or something like that on it just just mist it with this so products like that just have to be mindful of my containers and um because i have a glass spray bottle in my bathroom right now but i just got this out the car and i got this out my truck like three weeks ago i haven't used it but i'm finna do my twist out and i need it because i wasn't gonna wash my hair but <clears throat> today is the day where i stop making excuses i just do it like the longer you make excuses the longer you call yourself the longer you come up with other shit that's more important that you you really don't give a damn about the longer it's gonna take for you to get to this place where you want to be at or you say you want to be at i'm done talking i'm i'm doing now it's time for me to use my my corporation it's time for me to use my LLCs. it's time for me to use my business accounts like it's it's time it is it is definitely time so today i'm doing it i'm gonna figure out what other products i need to order even if i don't figure out what other products i need to order i'm going to check out of my cart today well tonight i'm, I'm going to check out of my cart oh and i need to find my taxes <laughs> But yeah, like this is life changing. This is meant for me to do it. I need it to get to where I'm at right now so I can do this. So I'm getting back in the hair. I will have my own brand of wraps. I will have my own product line when it comes in and, and products. I mean products. I ain't talking just about my oil, my own product lines. So gotta make sure my llc well yeah i gotta make sure all my paperwork is legitimized but i gotta make sure that my logo is beautiful and can be put on anything like t-shirts and you know i gotta make sure my marketing and branding is up to par because you are your product so can't nobody catch me walk around like this no more how you sell hair products but you you walk around looking dry you walk around ashy how <laughs> so y'all um i appreciate those who watched the video all the way through i'm sorry it's 40 minutes but i needed this if you watched it all the way you needed it too so we hit together just like this and i love y'all i appreciate y'all for tuning in for following for subscribing like i know it's real because i don't ask y'all to 
and somehow you found me so it was meant for, you know it was meant for us to see each other